All right, here we are in beautiful Andes, Texas, handling a collection of several cars, but we're going to do a few of them indoors and a few of them outdoors. This one we're going to cover indoors just bad to the bone, 1967 Chevrolet Camaro, pro touring style. This particular car was built for the owner uh, of this collection who owns CHRA, which is Customs and Hot Rods Andes. Um, this was his personal car that he drove. It's got four or 5,000 miles on it. We'll get around to the odometer in just a minute. It's uh, just spectacular in its overall presence and drive. It's uh, underneath the hoods a GM 383 stroker with a BNM supercharger, fast DFI fuel injection, has a four wheel suspension TCI suspension, so the full tubular structure up front, the cradle for the engine, TCI four bar in the back, four wheel disc brakes on it. We're going to walk around and tell you like we always do what we see and what we know. We have a little cheat sheet on, on the windshield here and I'm doing most of it from memory. The first thing I'll get into is the body. Uh, their body shop or their body men and their paint guys uh, definitely know how to get the lines crisp and right and I've studied a lot of the builds here and these particular cars all the lines are crisp on the edges which you typically won't see on a lot of builders cars. A lot of time is spent on the edges and fitting the door gaps right and stuff. There's a lot of great builders out there. Um, this is a particular, they spend a lot of time on the body lines and the overall fit and finish. They have a couple of things they do. The whole under undercarriage and en engine compartment is finished in a matte finish, which is kind of neat. So sometimes less is, less is more, a little bit of bling here and there. Has a rally sports style headlights in the front. They've taken the badges off the car. Uh, again, going back to the, the lines on it, you can see how crisp they are. This car has about, I think I already told you there, four or 5,000 miles on I'm a little tired from a long road trip and I think we did 11 cars this trip. Uh, I've driven this car, this car's got a killer sound to it. Well, you'll hear, that, you'll hear me start it up and that kind of thing, but it's, it's absolutely just, in its, it's just a bad to the bone Camaro. Um, cover the front here where you can see it really good. A couple little tiny spots from the road where a little stone came up right there and right there but there's really not anything to talk about. Car I believe started, its, it did a few road tours like in 2014. We'll have more details at Spud's Garage when we get, when we, uh, you just want to go there. When I get back I'll sort out all the details from this trip. I cram a lot of cars in my head over three days and uh, there's no way I'm going to catch everything has uh, Foos Legend style wheels in it on it. It has uh, four wheel disc brakes, Willwood style I believe, drilled slotted rotors. We've got the LED light on here. So the tires we had it out photo shooting and you'll see. So I've got a little bit of dirt on the tires. It's got uh, 18's on the front. I'll cover the tire sizes too. You can see the finish indoors underneath the lights here. You'll see the, the uh, Good Guys Road Tour 2014 on the window here. He's just not driving it anymore. Uh, it's thinning down his collection. This is one of those cars that's, that's going to go. You get inside, it's almost like putting on a set of blue suede shoes. This is beautiful. Back size here. Again, the back end of this car has been uh, TCI, 4-link, Ford 9-inch. Has a 4L ADE. It's all com GM computer controlled. Phoenix transmission. Custom interior. They're upholstery shop. They do everything in house here, upholstery wise, all that kind of stuff. And their upholstery is just absolutely amazing. Make sure you look at our website. We've got a 55 Chevy that uh, tons of hours on the interior of the engine compartment or the uh, interior of that car. Like the stitching, a little, you can see the blue stitching. It's kind of a bluish gray interior, German square weave carpet, all fitted. The console's been customized with a low car style shifter, you know, for the automatic overdrive. It's got air conditioning, rack and pinion power steering, seat belts front and rear. So if you have family or friends you want to take with you, you can kind of give you a feel back here. And it's just kind of, it's a beautiful leather. I wouldn't exactly call it suede, but it's, it's, it's very nice. The dash pad is done the same way. Factory AC vents. We'll get over to the driver's side and we'll actually fire it up and share the uh, audio system. It's got a full audio system in it. Again, we'll have the specs at Spots Garage. I'm not going to be able to cover everything. They put all new DOT glass in it, you'll see. Tempered safety glass. 
power windows. Power windows are three switches in the center there of the console, and the center one operates the uh, rear windows in tandem, in other words, together. Nice stripe on the back, it's subtle, and it's a base coat, clear coat, so you can't feel it. I mean, it's, it's under the clear coat. Again, going back to the crisp lines on this car. Focal audio system with a backup camera, you know, the kind of car you're going to drive. You'll see how these uh, rally stripes, custom rally stripes come off the bumper there and bumper separates the stripe. Get a little quiet here, you study it here. Several cars in this collection uh, are going. A lot of pre-war cars, some really neat stuff. Some early stocker iron and then uh, a few hot rods. So a few of them built by uh, this particular shop right here too. The rear tires, I know I said they were 18s in the front. What are they in the back here? I'm sure they're 18s. Pardon me for doing this to you. 18s in the rear. Foose wheels, drilled slotted rows, uh, rotors, polished calipers. Again, we'll spend time on the top side. Give you a good feel, good walk around. Make sure you go to Spud's Garage. You'll get. We had this car photographed. I photographed it outside this morning um, in the light, so you'll get a good feel for what the car's color is outside. We're inside under uh, neon lights or fluorescent lights, neon lights. Go to the back seat here. Again, seat belts front and rear. German square weave carpet. Tilt steering wheel, GM style rally wheel, period style rally wheel, AC vents here you see. Custom classic instrument gauges. Got a little cheat sheet here. Maybe I'll ramble it off when I sit down in here and we'll cover a little more. But go to Spud's Garage where we cover a lot. Um, classic instruments, these are cool gauges. It's got Detroit uh, Speed Mini Tubs installed in the rear of the car. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything. Phoenix built 4L80E, custom classic instruments and gauges, custom leather interior. Uh, it's got an Alpine double din. We're going to go ahead and fire it up here so we can show you. Alpine double din head with unit with a backup camera in it. Foose wheels. Ex extensive bodywork with custom graphics. Custom satin blue in the engine compartment as well as the complete underside. Vintage air and heat, and it's dynamated inside and inside the doors. The floor and inside the doors. So there's the audio system. We're not going to turn it on for you. We're just going to put it in reverse and show you. There's another hot rod behind me that we're going to be documenting. Get a look at that. Anyway, we'll get out and let you hear it run. Tell you to make sure you go to Spud's Garage. Absolutely beautiful. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to me and hang on to the end of the video. All right, my favorite part, getting underneath the hood here. Absolutely spectacular. This thing is bad to the bone all the way through. Very nicely done. Uh, one of the things I probably want to cover first is the matte finish that's throughout this car on the, on the mechanical portion of it underneath the hood. Full all the way down to the undercarriage. When we get it up on the lift, you'll just be amazed how beautiful this is. Sometimes less is more, and uh, this thing's just spectacular. GM 383 Stroker. So the custom hydraulic roller camshaft in it. It has a uh, B&M 144 supercharger on it. It has a uh, fast EFI throttle body fuel injection with a GM computer and a custom wiring harness. I do a lot of this stuff from memory. I do have a cheat sheet over there, but the engine is finished in the matte finish too. It's uh, the transmission is a GM 4L ADE, computer controlled. It uh, by Phoenix Transmissions, I think. We'll have all the specs at Spuds Garage, like we always do. Um, we cover a lot of different stuff. It has a uh, 
uh, polished uh, serpentine belt drive system has air conditioning here it has power steering the power steering pump is down low here you'll see all the pulleys the tensioner there in the front we've got our LED light on it's actually nice doing it inside here because I've been so hot for several days it's the last day of this trip uh, it has four-wheel disc brakes so it has a uh, uh, Willwood uh, master cylinder here that's also finished in the matte finish it's sitting on a uh, TCI structure, uh, the full suspension that they make for these cars, the unibody suspension, and it goes front to rear TCI. So it's a tubular structure with power steering, rack and pinion power steering. You'll see the tubular structure down there. You see the matte finish on the aprons here. See the detail in the wipers, I mean in the wiring there. These guys build a really nice car. They built this for the owner to do pro, pro tours with, and uh, it's quite evident. The bottom side of the hood also has the matte finish on it. This car just has crisp horsepower. We'll fire it up here for you in just a minute and let you get a feel for it and the sound in the building here. And uh, I love this uh, this cover or this apron on the front here. It has a uh, Be Cool aluminum radiator. You'll see that they uh, matte finished the tanks on it too. It has a uh, stainless uh, Be Cool topper on it. Again, air conditioning. kind of give you down here detail. These headers have been, uh, it's got custom 304 stainless uh, exhaust and it custom made and these headers are actually uh, ceramic coated in a matte finish. I've seen it, there's another car in the collection here that we're handling. Uh, twin, alum cooling, uh, twin cooling fans on the aluminum radiator. Pardon me for being a little rummy today. A lot of cars over the past few days. Anyway, hang on to the end of the video. Make sure you go to the undercarriage portion of the video. Have a great day if you're looking for a bitchin' car. All right, we promised you we'd fire it up right after the engine compartment video there, so we're gonna go ahead and do that out here. <laughs> I've driven this car, it's a blast. Take you back to the exhaust. All right, hang on to the end of the video. That's for darn sure. All right, we'll get you in the trunk here. Just like the interior of the car, this is just very nice. It's finished in a blue suede pattern that matches the interior of the car. German square weave carpet. Uh, we talked about the audio system a little bit on the walk around. We'll show you the woofer here in the back. Level of detail all the way through this car is definitely worth looking at. Bottom of the deck lid is done there. Anyway, go to spudsgarage.com. Make sure you hang on to the end of the video. All right, we've got this bad to the bone Camaro up on the lift, Pro Tour style. We actually, you might find me repeating myself because this video portion was done before the walk around on the car. We like to get to the underside if we can uh, prior to so we get a good feel for what we're talking about. Anyway, very nicely done by Customs and Hot Rods and is here, CHRA. Um, built for the owner. The undercarriage is just beautiful on this car. Kind of their signature matte finish. We're going to walk around and tell you what we know about the undercarriage here, but uh, pro touring style. I've actually got a cheat sheet in my back pocket. I probably won't refer to it. It has a Rick's custom tank in it that's finished the matte finish. It has a Walbro in-tank uh, pump, fuel pump for those hot climates. Uh, it has a uh, TCI four-link rear suspension with a custom, uh, it has a uni unibody connector here which connects it to the front suspension. Uh, so it makes it one foot full body structure. These cars were typically a uh, a unibody car. Now it's starting to rain on me so we'll get this one done. The floor pans here again are just beautiful. This is a rotisserie style restoration. All the lines are hand bent. Hush power mufflers with a custom 304 uh, stainless uh, exhaust system with a beautiful crossover. Just look at the welds on this exhaust. Billet aluminum drive line, Ford 9 inch rear differential, four link coil overs in the back. I don't know that I covered the brakes. If I did, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. It's got four wheel polished disc brakes. I think those are Willwood calipers, uh, drilled slotted rotors. He's got about 2,000 miles on the car. 
and you'd really never tell it by looking at it. It was just a uh, pro, a power tour type situation. 4L88 automatic overdrive transmission. The level of professional detail in this car is just shocking. These cars are incredible builds. It's got a brake bias selector right here. So you can set the brake bias front to rear depending on what kind of driving you're doing or your feel of what you like. Again, the TCI structure connects to the body here, connects the unibody back, connects to this, got a fully tubular TCI front suspension on it. And the rain like crazy here. TCI tubular control arms, adjustable coilovers, polished backing plates with disc brakes, same as the rear polished. Incredible. It's going to rain on me here hard, so I'm going to get out of here. It's got so the TCI front suspension's got a tubular, it's a full tubular structure, a cradle, and everything for the engine. Um, and then the undercarriage here, you'll see the level of detail again. We'll get more when we go to Spud's Garage. You're going to have a lot of details from us on it. We just like to cover as much as we can up on the left. Rack and power, rack and pinion steering. Anyway, we think you get the idea on the bottom side. In our walk around, we hope we covered enough for you. I'm going to get this car down and off and into the out of the weather. Have a great day. Thank you.